So in this screencast, we will talk about how you can use Key Vault to store master key and the read key of Cosmos DB. And using the application at the runtime, you can access the keys from the Key Vault and then you can access the Cosmos DB. So let's create the Key Vault. Search Key Vault. Create, give a name, I will say Rafat KV2, leave subscription as is, choose a resource group. I will leave the location as is, price as is, access policies. Here you can add other users and, or MSI. So if you go here, you can see that you can add other principles here see all these principles you have in your enterprise you can go ahead and add them but I will just leave it as is I will leave as one user only able to access second thing you can put VNet around this key vault or you can set the firewall but for this demo purpose I'll just leave it as is here and I just say go ahead create it takes few seconds but I already have a key vault created so let's go ahead and use that. So here's my key vault. And if I come here, click on secrets. Now I can keep my secrets here. So I go ahead, generate a uh, name. Maybe I'll say Cosmos DB master key. That's my secret name. And my secret is this is where in the value field, I'll put the master key of the Cosmos DB. So let me type something here for our testing. Cosmos DB master key is here. So this is what I typed here, create. Now I have my secret is created with Cosmos DB master key, the name of the secret is. And now how to access this secret, if I click on this, I get this URL, the secret identifier click to copy this close all this now let's go ahead and open Visual Studio and write the code to access this so here's my code as you can see um, it's very simple code I'm calling this one main sync function first thing I'm doing here is I'm creating an Azure service token provider and then passing that token provider to my key vault client and that's it with that key vault client I'm going to access the secret so let's set this my config here the URL which I have copied from my key vault I'm going to keep here and even if you have my this access URL of my key vault cannot do anything with it because you cannot access it so here as you can see that in access control if you are not listed you cannot access my this key vault it's of no use to you and again just to make sure you understand from where you will get the access URL by going to your secret and clicking again and then you get this secret identifier and this is the URL you copy which you keep in your code so that's it and this gets the secret and then I just print out what principle I use to access my key vault as you can see in this code nowhere any key is used I'm just using one URL and that's about it and let's run it and see as you can see I retrieved the secret from the key vault cosmos db master key is here and the principle used is user principle name is my name here this is the best practice how to access your cosmos db never keep this master key or the read only key in your code or in the web config or app config anywhere this key should always be kept in the key vault and using that two line of code from the application access the master key and use it to access Cosmos DB and another thing to notice that 
as you know, in Cosmos DB, you have two keys, primary key and the secondary key. And using this key vault, you can create both the keys here, primary key and the secondary key. And you can go and anytime you can disable the key. Like here, I am disabling the key and I am saving it here. Now, this key will not be accessed from outside. As you can see, I cannot access this key because it is disabled in the key vault. And using the Azure CLI, here you can see all the CLI commands are there. Um, with these commands, you can create multiple keys in the key vault and disable and enable these keys and completely control the access to your Cosmos DB using the key vault. I hope this quick small screencast will make your application more secure and thanks for watching it. See you next time.